Many thanks for staying here on News Desk and uh, some more stories now. And the British government is challenging Ghana to uphold to live up to its enviable title as a beacon of democracy in Africa with the 2016 elections. UK Minister of State for International Development Desmond Swain says the country has an obligation to continuously demonstrate to the world democracy can thrive in a turbulent West African sub-region. Speaking to the media, Mr. Swain announced a £4 million British assistance to the country. Kwabna also on Prichum reports. The assistance, which will be spread over the next five years, is aimed at supporting both state and non-state institutions to strengthen democratic governance and promote free, fair, peaceful and credible elections. The Electoral Commission, Police Service, Judiciary and Civil Society will benefit from the package. Announcing it, Desmond Swain indicated the British government has faith Ghana will once again steal through a successful election. Uh, we believe that you are a beacon for democratic values in the region and we want other countries to envy what you've achieved and to uh, emulate you. Uh, there, there are all sorts of other commitments that uh, the United Kingdom makes to Ghana and we have a, uh, a, a Department of International Development office here in Ghana but this is specifically for building democratic governance. Um, which of course will involve um, some elements of supporting the police and security and the judiciary. Chair of the Electoral Commission, Charlotte Say, pledged the commitment of stakeholders to ensuring the assistance yields the expected results in its five-year implementation phase. At the end of five years, we'll have a stronger, um, a better resource and certainly a more independent commission. These are steps that we're taking to ensure that towards the 2016 elections and even beyond, the electoral landscape is stronger and that the successes that we have gained in the past 23 years we build upon it and we create a better commission and so we look forward to working with all of you as we embark on this process we're particularly happy that we have the judiciary here and the police service because we also look forward of course to working with civil society and the media and so on behalf of the electoral commission we truly appreciate the gesture by the uk government for Joy News, Kabna Uso and Prechum. And before we go, as part of efforts to strengthen surveillance to check the possible cross-border transmission of avian influenza from neighboring countries into Ghana, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture has banned the importation of day-old chicks, eggs, and other poultry products. Dr. Anabisu, the Deputy Minister in charge of, the lives, of livestock who announced this on Wednesday, said the decision comes on the back of increased commercial activities at the border towns, particularly of La Côte d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso. You might want to stay with us for a lot more on this very story at midday when we bring you a lot of reactions, particularly from the Poultry Farmers Association of Ghana, uh, following this directive by the ministry. We also have a lot more stories uh, from other quarters, particularly that very dismissal, supposed dismissal of uh, the president of the Kolebu Senior Staff Association president. We have details of those stories and a lot more updates coming up at midday when I join you with news today. But that's how you wrap up on news desk this morning on your Joy News channel on Multi TV. Remember to visit www.myjoyonline.com for a lot more stories. My name is Kwabena Chenche Hinebwati. Benis Abubedu is standing by who joined us interactive. Thank you very much for your company.